A judge is blocking elements of Missouri's new election law. The decision does not impact the part that requires photo ID. Uh, the law would have required volunteers who sign up more than 10 voters to register with the state. It would have required solicitors to be Missouri voters, banning people from soliciting a voter into obtaining an absentee ballot application. A Cole County judge says those rules are unconstitutional. The photo ID requirement will be in effect. KMBC 9's Michael Mahoney spoke to the Missouri Secretary of State about that part of the new law. That they do this year have to present a photo ID? Is that, is, is, would you call that the biggest change? Um, if you're going to vote in the uh, no excuse absentee time period, or if you want to do a normal ballot, you need to have that government issued photo ID. Uh, but every Missourian needs to know that if you don't have that, if you've lost it, if you don't have one, as long as you're registered, you can still vote by going to your polling place on election day. It'll take you two or three minutes longer. You'll fill out some extra information. It'll be a provisional ballot. Uh, but I voted by provisional ballot. The process works. Everyone should know if they're registered, they'll be able to vote. Their vote will matter and they can trust the results. And the, the ballot that someone that makes this provisional just in case uh, vote is identical to the one that other voters are casting their ballots with. Is that correct? It's the very same ballot? Yes, it's, it's pulled off the exact same pile. We just put it into a provisional envelope. We have you fill out some extra information so we can verify who you are. Once the polls close, the election authority will take those out of their secure location to look through them, verify that you are who you say you are, and they'll run them through the tabulator just like any other ballot. Do you have enough poll watchers? Are you satisfied that they will uh, conduct themselves in an orderly manner? I have confidence that the election will be run smoothly. Um, I think people of the state of Missouri should have confidence in it. We have great election authorities. We have great poll workers. But I also have to say, look, it's the right of every Missourian, it's the right of every American to question their government. And if people have concerns, if they have questions, it's entirely appropriate for them to bring them up. And uh, I hope they'll bring them to me so I can answer them for them. Uh, I serve them. Were, do you know if there was any particular major changes in the education of poll workers done this uh, year, or is that something that's done by the local county clerks and uh, election boards in the state? Uh, the local election authorities, the 116 local election authorities across the state, they do the poll worker training. I do know that one of their emphasis uh, that they trained on was uh, the use of provisional ballots uh, to make sure that if someone came in and didn't have their government issued photo ID on election day, they would be taken care of. They would know how they could vote that provisional ballot to make sure their voice was heard. You might be getting bombarded with political text messages, and some of them might contain misinformation. You can report those senders texting the number 7726 or spam. You can also report those texts or phone calls on the FCC's website. In the Kansas 3rd Congressional District, Democrat Cherise Davids is hoping to beat uh, Republican Amanda Atkins for the second time. They faced off two years ago. Davids won the race by 10 points, but this time a new congressional map splits the Democratic stronghold of Kansas City, Kansas in half. Unlike 2020, people are dealing with historic inflation. Here are the candidates on addressing voter concerns. That I'll be talking to, you know, uh, a, a farmer about fertilizer being three to five times more expensive this year than it was last year. In the same conversation, they I have had farmers bring up um, the issue of Roe being overturned. I've been in Kansas City, Kansas to Johnson County to down south. Most people are worried about the same issues. For the most part, the top issues are inflation, the economy, and crime. That's what I'm hearing from people. And in the Kansas 2nd Congressional District, which now covers the part of KCK north of I-70, Republican incumbent Jake LaTurner of Topeka faces Democrat and former Navy intelligence officer Patrick Schmidt. In Missouri, Republican and former TV anchor Mark Alford is facing Democrat Jack Truman in the 4th Congressional District. The seat was vacated by Harrisonville Congresswoman Vicki Hartzler. In the 5th District, incumbent Democrat Emanuel Cleaver is running for re-election opposed by Republican Jacob Turk. And in the 6th District, Republican incumbent Sam Graves is running against Democrat Henry Martin. You can find more information on the candidates and issues in this election, as well as important voting information by downloading the KMBC 9 News app.